Hi, can I please get oat milk, please? We actually don't carry oat milk. Okay, um... So I've been chasing grocery stores and telling everybody on my Instagram that I have a new religion, all for a bottle of milk. This is the science behind a cult-like following because <laughs> I think I'm a... I think I'm becoming one of them. Oatly is an up and coming milk company that sells plant-based milk. And it's basically grown to a $100 million company in the span of two years. The Swedish brand is actually using the boiling pot effect to grow their brand. So what is the boiling pot effect and how can we use it to build a brand online? Today, we're gonna uncover the secrets of Oatly and how they build their cult-like empire. All you gotta do, if you wanna know, is keep on watching. <laughs> All right, hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Jade and you're watching the YouTube channel where we talk about marketing and psychology fused together. All right, so for some context, Oatly is a Swedish brand. So how the fuck did this brand appear in the US and make such a big presence in a short amount of time? I mean, $100 million in two years is crazy. Imagine what you can do with $100 million. You could get a private jet, hang out with Elon Musk on a private jet. The possibilities are endless. Just think about it, guys. It's kind of like if you move to a whole new state and you had to have a new set of friends at a new school and suddenly you're the most popular kid. Yeah, I can't relate, I was a loser in school. It's apparent that I'm also not the only one that loves oat milk. To answer this question of how Oatly built their cult-like following, I'm gonna go ask my friend Emily to see why she loves it so much. Hi, Emily, what's Hello. going on? So how much do you like, like Oatly? I love Oatly, I would die for Oatly. Bury me in oat milk, thanks. <laughs> I love oat milk so much, I'm just curious. Like, what is it, what is it that makes it so special? Because it tastes like regular milk, but it's not regular milk. It's the most similar one, and it's creamy, and it's, so it's perfect for coffee. I remember, guys, like, you're gonna think I'm crazy for saying this, but I remember, like, a year ago, there was an Oatly shortage. I'm not joking. It made headlines, and I really wanted some oat milk in my coffee, and I had to drive, like, almost 20 miles at 10 p.m. at night to go to this small vegan grocery store that only carried it in my entire, like, city. So you, like, literally, you traveled farther multiple times just to get your hands on it. <laughs> I'm so sad you guys don't have oat milk. I know, we only carry almond, soy, and coconut milk. So anyways, using the Oatly Finder, I can typically grab one. It's so rare to find, and it's like my child when I do find it. So if Oatly is always sold out, they're not even available in Starbucks, how did Oatly really start? Oatly knew that if they were going to introduce a whole new product to America, let alone a whole other type of milk brand, they had to do it right. Instead of going to Target or traditional retailers and just putting out their product on shelves, they went to small local coffee shops so they could introduce it slowly to customers. Where did you first discover oat milk? Uh, in a coffee shop in LA. It just makes sense to me. Like I trust my barista with like my firstborn child. I feel like your barista just knows what you want. And I feel like if they were going to recommend you a new drink or a new milk, you'd probably say yes. The hardest thing in marketing and business is getting people to sample your product. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm actually an entrepreneur and I have a few businesses about social media. And I know like my biggest problem when growing my company was like getting people just to try my product. And I know that's the biggest bottleneck for so many brands. So if they were able to get a barista or someone that can explain the product to a customer, going to be addicted. This creamy liquid that's just so frothy is perfect in your lattes, oatmeal, and cereal. One sip, I was hooked. The first time I ever sipped Oatly was probably when I was in a... Shut the fuck up. The first time I had Oatly was probably when I was in LA two years ago and my friend Macy told me about the coolest new milk. And I tried it in a coffee shop called Alfred's. This is a very boutique coffee shop in LA and everybody loves this coffee shop so much. So because I already trusted the coffee shop, I already knew that this drink was gonna be good. So I had a sip and immediately I loved it. It was way sweeter and better than any other milk I had. It's, it's really worth the hype. <laughs> this is not an ad for Oatly. Please sponsor me. So the technique of Oatly using a coffee shop or trusted barista to introduce product is called the boiling pot effect. Let's dive into deeper of how Oatly step-by-step -step built their cult-like following. What is the boiling pot effect? The boiling pot effect is basically when you get a small targeted group of people super excited about a product. Imagine I told you that you had to boil a lake. Probably be like, Jade, what the frick? But if I told you to boil a small pot of water and then over time add it to the lake, you would probably say that's doable. This is exactly the same technique. Oatly mastered is the ability to get a small group of people to love their product so much to spread their message like wildfire. Instead of going broad and like starting to target every single person in the world, they just targeted local small coffee shops to get their message going. In the span of two years, Oatly went from having only a dozen stores carry their product 
to 7,000. The boiling pot is super effective regardless if you have a product or you're a social media influencer, you can use this for anything to spread the message of a product. Here's how you do it. Step one, start small. Take a small group of people and build trust with them. Oatly used small local coffee shops you might just create a small group in your school or you just target five or 10 people in your friend group. Really building a relationship with a small group of people, they're able to spread the message for you once you make a memorable product in their mind. I know if you're trying to grow a business, it's super hard to just like be happy and patient with a small group of followers you have, but you need to be able to nurture that relationship first and build their trust before going on. So let them sample their product, let them get you feedback, let them come back and forth on your page or your, your store, right? Until they build trust. And then you can go to step two, exclusivity. I don't think Oatly would be as successful if they didn't have such a shortage. I am not joking. It's a freaking hunt to find this milk. And I think because of it, people get more and more excited and they actually value it like 10 times more. If Oatly was always available, I probably wouldn't care. Because this is such a rare product to find, I almost treat it like my firstborn child. It's so valuable and important that I want to savor the experience. And step three, once you have a small group of people, you make them have an exclusive experience to it, Step three is adding humor and branding. Oatly is iconic for their ads. Just take a look at some of their billboards in Los Angeles. It is hilarious. It's actually a clip of one of their creative directors explaining how they rebuilt and rebranded Oatly from this to this. The big foot on the pack, we've run that in The Guardian. as a full page ad, it's like, here's what we believe. And there's some very political statements. Brands don't do that if you're not willing to to stand up to the big boys, show a different way. No, you just get lost, I guess. So what can we learn from this? If you're trying to build an irresistible brand, the first step is to start small. Oatly did an amazing job of caring about their customers, starting in local areas, and making an impact on a small group of people. Like my biggest life quote is always, start small, dream big. And I really live by that today. Whether one day you want to pursue a business or a crazy career, start small and you can always achieve your goal and just take the first step. I don't know why Oatly is becoming a motivational speaker, but I'm definitely inspired by the way they built their business. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and today decide to do something great by taking a first step. Subscribe to this channel and like this video if this was interesting and you love the idea about marketing and psychology together. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you want to be the next comment winner, comment below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you guys so much. Grab yourself some Oatly. Try it if you haven't. Probably not because it's always sold out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys so much and peace.